my favorite thing to draw with is a Sharpie marker. I love how clean and how bold the marks are that you make with it. And I actually love that I can't erase it. So as I'm drawing with it, I'm stuck with whatever I make. So you have to decide, okay, I'm gonna sit there and be really, really slow and get everything perfect. Or you can just surrender to it. And I think getting into that flow gives your work a lot of character and you really get into the smell. I'm Brian Ballinger, AKA Breadwig. And I'm an illustrator, children's book writer, muralist, 3D computer graphics, toy designer, sculptor, mix in 3D animation as well. So I got a lot of stuff going on right now. I've got a new gallery show coming up and that's gonna be all my 3D printing and 3D sculpture stuff. So all of this stuff here are in progress. And then I've got some more stuff over there you can see on the shelf. Just working like crazy, getting all this stuff done. So this is my new book, uh, The Big Wig Parade. And it's all about these animals that are in the forest and they have an annual parade where everybody wears a giant wig and they go into the woods and they're looking for different things that they can use to create their wigs out of. One of their friends, Helty the rabbit, who keeps shedding fur, they don't realize that he's actually the solution to their problems. So this is a kind of a theme that comes up in a lot of my work is I love characters and I love real people too. They're kind of quirky and different, but they end up showing you that they can bring something to the table that no one else can do. So this book and most books take me three or four months to produce. Probably drew like 20 different wigs for each character. That's one of the most fun parts of the whole process is just coming up with variations. So it always starts with my drawings. I keep all of them. I have boxes of just tons of doodles and drawings and that's where all my inspiration comes from so then i kind of think about what kind of personality the character has and then the story grows out of that in fourth grade i moved to vermont and that's kind of where i grew up until i went to college yeah so chester vermont was a town of about 900 people so not very big uh, the local artist there was lou waters he was a pen and ink illustrator he would do lots of buildings, historical buildings and other things around. No matter where it was, if it was in a gallery or he was giving a presentation or you just saw it up somewhere, you could immediately tell it was his. So, you know, seeing him and being inspired by his line work really to this day is, is something that still influences me. Uh, my best friend, Heath Gordon, incredible artist, probably my main big influence. He was one of the most naturally gifted artists I've ever known. He was way better than I was. If you look at some of the drawings, even that he was doing in fourth grade, you can see his imprint on me. When I was really young, I wanted to be a cartoonist. I was a pretty introverted kid, pretty quiet, but I also had a very mischievous side. If I had an assignment in high school, I would always follow to the letter of the law, but I would stick strange little cartoons in, you know, even if even in figure drawing class. The transition to the Columbus College of Art and Design was interesting. It had a lot of uh, traditional classic art stuff. I found that a little bit hard because again, it was like making me have to do things that weren't necessarily what I wanted to do, but I can apply that to a super cartoony image and it'll make it, whoa, it'll be great. It'll still be my style, but it's got all these fundamental things that are like pinning it down. And I, I think that's like one of the best ways to bring out the creativity out of somebody is to have these boundaries and then have them be as creative as they can be within those walls. I've always had a fascination with digital art and computer graphics. When I was doing this stuff for Nintendo Power, I was one of the first people to be using 3D computer graphics for illustration. And then after that, I moved to Chicago where I worked for VeggieTales. I started in 1998. While I was there, Huntington University was starting an animation program. And so myself and another guy, Steve Leeper, and so we both helped start the animation program at Huntington University. It's fascinating looking at my old work that I drew when I was a real little kid and looking at it now. I may draw more like I drew when I was a kid now than I ever have. I'm currently one of two visiting artists down at the Children's Museum down in Indianapolis. And so I get to do workshops with kids. I'll have them all draw pigs in wigs and we're all drawing the same thing and they all look different. Having parents get to see an artist who's made it work as a career and they can say, yeah, you know, you can make this thing work. When I see students succeed, that's a reward for me. Being a parent of an artist has been great. My child is actually a better artist than I am. 
being able to see the progression from someone who's drawing when they're, you know, three years old until now being a senior in college is amazing. And we draw together. We try and draw together every couple of weeks and I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it.